He had a dream. He turned entrepreneur and kicked off his roller coaster ride in the world of home interiors. Welcome back to Altair Motors presents the Uma Show in association with Baby Shop and Nexus. You are about to meet a man whose personality is as interesting as his furniture. His journey and his work speak of fearlessly chasing your dreams. And that is the one thing I love in people. Meet the former IKEA decorator Thomas Lundgren, the man behind the flamboyant furniture chain, the one. He's quirky and he's eccentric. He also happens to be the CEO of The One. But he's not just any another CEO. In fact, he's the chief emotional officer. This is a furniture company where its stores are called theaters. The staff is the cast and the customers are called fans. He's also the self-proclaimed creator of the Middle Eastern furniture revolution. I'm sitting with a man who describes himself unemployable. Because if you tell me go left, I will go right. This is Thomas Lundgren. So Thomas, you started the one seventeen years back. What was your vision at that time, and how far have you reached with it? I always dreamed about having this family mm -hmm. and and having a company, and very selfishly. I can do anything I want, and then they would do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, you know, to build that management team and get the whole thing to actually do that, I thought it was going to take three, four years. Mm -hmm. It took 15 at least. And people talk about building a, a good company. You, you build a company where, where people love to work there. I've always mm -hmm. said, if people love to work in your company, they will take care of you. Mm -hmm. Most people say that, but it yeah. doesn't mean anything. In reality, most people would fire people in meeting when they have a financial problem, etc. Mm. Don't, don't misunderstand me. You know? yeah. This is not a cute company, this hanky, you know, kissy kissy, huggy huggy mm. company to work for. You have to be good to work here. This is a Formula One car, Absolutely. this is not a Formula Five car, mm -hmm. okay? Thomas takes his people seriously, not to mention that The One has been ranked as the UAE's number one local employer four years in a row and the fifth greatest place to work in 2014. When I started and I was dreaming about getting this camp, I was sitting up on the highway in, in an office mm -hmm. and when I was tired every day when I you know, had lunch or something, I would go down to the uh, magazine shop. I'm not a Fortune magazine buyer, but one day there was this magazine that said the 100 best companies to work for in mm -hmm. America, mm -hmm. and I bought that one. And it was an organization called Great Places to Work. So this is 96, 95, 96 mm -hmm. I saw this. And from that day I said I'm going to be the number one company to work for in the world. Wow. The One is now one of Middle East household name in furniture brands. Having proven that things do grow in the desert, The One has 18 stores in 8 countries and over 650 employees. But where did it all begin? Well, I really want to know so much more about you. You're such an inspirational figure based in Dubai. And to start with, how did it all start? Where were you born and how did you come to Dubai? I'm Swedish. I was uh, five when my father died, mm -hmm. which is a big thing in my life because my mother and me went through very much hardship. Mm -hmm. And I always dreamed about leaving Sweden to another place. Mm -hmm. And uh, I moved to Saudi in 1984 and to Kuwait in 85. Mm -hmm. And I worked for another company that we don't mention in this, okay. you know, a Swedish company with four letters mm -hmm. okay. in the same industry. <laughs> Thomas will have you believe that it was really divine intervention that helped him choose his current path. Okay, so you wanted to save people from that four-letter word company. Yeah. That's how it all started, the when, one. When I, when I came here in 93, um, I was trying to find money because mm -hmm. I thought it was going to be a lot of money to open the business here. So I met a lot of people, but everybody said no to me. Okay. And, and I was working and working on it. But in these meetings, very often, people would fall asleep. So I had to something, so I mm -hmm. said, you must realize something, I have something that happened to me in Kuwait mm -hmm. after the invasion. And they said, what? So there was an angel that came to me 
And they told, this angel told me to save the world from Ikea. Mm -hmm. And then they would wake up. Mm -hmm. So that's one famous one. So Thomas, you credit your success to creativity, curiosity, naivety, and gut feel. And I relate to that because as an entrepreneur, these are the qualities that I had when I started off. How do you identify with them? So to be an entrepreneur, of course, mm -hmm. the whole thing with being an entrepreneur or being naive is that you have, if you knew how hard it's going to be and how difficult mm -hmm. and all the hardship you're going to go through, and it's going to take so much longer time than you ever thought. You will not do it. You will not do it. Because, because you need to think it's simple. You know, the whole world is waiting for you. I thought the whole world was going to be a stand outside my doors when I opened my first door. There was not one. That's where you need to be naive and stupid, I say. Mm -hmm. Then you need to have gut feel because, yes, I haven't been to business school, but I don't know if that even helps. Mm -hmm. Because the things you're going to get and conquer, you don't know. They are so... I can write a book of mistakes. You can write a book on mistakes. I can write the book on mistakes. That's I've great. done every I'm mistake you can think book. of. Yes. <laughs> so, so when I was patronized, I put on my fake glasses and I worked harder. And I think that if you're going to be successful, that's part number one. You survive that. And if you survive that part, you become an entrepreneur. That's free of charge. If you grow yourself and you're actually surviving next phase, you have to become a manager. Same thing again, same story again. If you don't become a manager, a good manager, so you start to manage your company, mm -hmm. not losing the company, then you reach step number three, whatever I am on now. Not many people do that. Mm -hmm. And then you need to go from there to become a leader and lead your people, which I okay. think is, is where I've been That's working on the last now. couple of years. I go to Harvard every year mm -hmm. just because I want to learn yeah. that. I want to be a good leader because that's my role now. Things are done differently at this unique company and giving back to the community, therefore, is just not another CSR activity. I mean, when we talk about philanthropy, we yeah. need to also realize that people do it for different reasons. Mm -hmm. Most people do it because they think they have to give back. I don't think I have to give back. Mm -hmm. I think it actually starts the other way around. You shouldn't build a business today if it is not something built into that business from beginning, from the start, to give back. So that's why we started very early on the whole idea about building schools. So that was an idea I got when I met some people that mm -hmm. if you're going to change the world, because we always talked about we're going to change the world or save the world, the only way to do that is through education. I didn't know really what to do with that mm -hmm. at that moment. And then one day we decided of pure luck, or like most people, just because I wanted to feel good, we hired a handicapped or a challenged, as we call mm -hmm. it, person. Three months later, he was working actually in this store. Mm -hmm. This is 98. They called me from this store and said, Thomas, you need to come and see what has happened. Mm -hmm. And they were telling me that in his department he worked, that things had changed. Mm -hmm. People who was normally kind of a little bit arguing and having problems between each other, no more of that. They actually gelled. They actually had teamed up around mm -hmm. him. So he was teaching us more than we were teaching him. Right. And that day I said, we should have them everywhere. Mm -hmm. And that's why we have this goal of having physically or mentally handicapped people mm -hmm. up to 5%. We mm -hmm. have more, but first of all, reach 5% in the whole company. Okay. Because I think they give very good energy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's number two. And number three, we have schools now in Kenya and in India. So yes, I think it's it's, if my daughters want to work in a company in the future, they're going to say they're going to work in a company that they care for, yeah. a good company. Mm -hmm. So how do you get the best employees? You need to be a good company, and that's yeah. a part of it. I think you've done just that with me today. I've spent a few hours with you, and I'm so inspired, not just to put in my best, but also to look at things differently that, uh, that you do. And on that note, I would like to give you my ultimate light trophy because you truly deserve it. And thank you for coming on the show. Wow. Do you like it? It's all blinged up. <laughs> it's blinged up. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. And with that, we have reached the end of the show tonight. But all the action continues on our Facebook fan page. Log in to win yourself an exotic getaway for two. Also, don't forget to grab your copy of the Gulf News tabloid every Friday to read my column, The Dubai Insider. And lastly, please log on to WFP website if you want to be a part of the United Nations World Food Program. A little help goes a long way. 
And just in case you have been missing us, you can watch all our past episodes on YouTube. Big love to our sponsors, Altair Motors, Baby Shop and Nexus for all their support. And also to our gracious hosts, Westin Hotel, Meena Sehai. Have a great week ahead and I'll see you all next week. Till then, this is your host, Uma, wishing you all good night. Mm -hmm.